Hello my friends and welcome to the video. So today we're gonna be doing a full day of breakfast food. So why are we doing breakfast food? Well, because breakfast is one of the best meals of the day. So I just placed an order with First Watch and I'm gonna head up the street, pick it up, come back and um, what? You wanna say hi? Come on, come on, come on. Zoe felt left out. She wanted to say hi. Say hi, say hi. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna head over to First Watch, pick up some food, very excited. I have not had First Watch in quite some time. So, all right, shall we go? Let's go get the food. So we have the food and it does look super amazing. I am very, very excited for this meal. So let me show you guys what we got. So we do have the million dollar bacon. This stuff is absolutely crazy. Four slices of their signature hardwood smoked bacon baked with brown sugar, black pepper, cayenne, and maple drizzle. That bacon is seriously crazy. Next up, we do have the farm stand breakfast tacos. So we do have three wheat corn tortillas with scrambled eggs, Cajun chicken, chorizo, cheddar and Monterey Jack cheeses topped with fresh avocado and homemade pickle de gallo served with seasonal beans. And we get the beans right here. Last but not least, we do have the avocado toast. This stuff is phenomenal. So what we do have is their thick cut whole grain toast topped with fresh smashed avocado, extra virgin olive oil, lemon, Malden sea salt, and served with two basted eggs. By the way, I forgot to show you my drink. So this is the morning meditation. This is the drink that I always do get. I really do like it. It does have orange, it does have lemon, ginger, and also beet. So all right, without further ado, let's just begin. So I'm gonna start with the bacon because this stuff is phenomenal. That bacon is seriously crazy. So it has like a sweetness to it from the maple syrup, but then it has cayenne pepper along with the black pepper. So it has like a little bit of a spice. It's like sweet and spicy. It's like crazy. This combination is amazing. You know what, maybe I'll try to make it later on. I'll try to recreate this, but I don't think it's gonna be as good. Wow. Seriously, if you do have a first watch by you, go get the million dollar bacon. It's just unreal. Oh, and by the way, everything from First Watch is always so fresh. I literally have never had a bad meal there. All right, next up, taco or avocado toast? All right, we'll go taco since the avocado toast is basically cold anyway. Check that out. Fresh pieces of chicken, we got egg, cheese, pickle de gallo, avocado. Top it with some of these beans. One thing the tacos could use is a little bit of hot sauce. I'm not sure if I have any. Let me check. Don't have hot sauce, but some salsa will do. I, I kind of want like a little bit of a kick to it. There we go. Look at that. Mm. 
Mm. Now it's perfect. Me encanta las tacos. I love tacos. <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. Oof. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Look at that. Tacos are done. We do have some beans that we will finish off. So we did save the avocado toast for last. We do have egg here, so actually, you know what? I'm gonna throw the egg on top of the toast. Actually, let me see if I can get you guys a runny yolky shot. There we go. All right, enough of the food porn, time to eat. I don't know what makes it so special, but it's absolutely amazing. So they put like a zest of lemon on it, as well as some olive oil. So maybe that's what gives it that really unique pop. Because I know, if I was to go put some avocado on some toast, it would not taste this good. Oh, that was amazing. Sit. <laughs> All right, folks, and I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Magic Spoon. So, Magic Spoon does have some new flavors that were just released. I am very excited to try them. So let's open it up. So yeah, this is gonna be a live taste test because I have not had these flavors before. Very excited. This cereal is pretty damn awesome. Um, so let's see. We got peanut butter, and then the other flavor is called honey nut. So we do have two boxes of each of the new cereals. So. Um, Keep those two in here. So yeah, these are the new cereals. Here's what the box looks like. This is the peanut butter flavor. So macros on this cereal, eight grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, and 11 grams of protein, 130 calories per serving for this one. This one is the honey nut. So you're looking at 110 calories, five grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of protein. Let's just open it up and give them a try. We've got some bowls here. So yeah, so 
so Magic Spoon cereal, it is high protein, it's low carbohydrate, it's gluten free, it's grain free, it's wheat free, and it's also soy free. Ooh, that smells super peanut buttery. Wow. I'm gonna go for the peanut butter one first. Let's see if I can make a little cool presentation for you guys. All right, so we do have some cashew milk. We're gonna try this with. Here we go. Peanut butter. Magic spoon. That is just crazy. It really reminds me of the Reese's Puff cereal. But I would say this is like a less chocolatey flavor and just more peanut buttery flavor. As you guys can hear, it's a nice crunch. And so by the way, the cereal is keto friendly. So just listen to this crunch. Seriously, I do not know how they do it. A low carb cereal that still has an amazing crunch. Oh, you gotta drink the milk. Wow, seriously, that peanut butter flavor is on point. Next up, we're going to try out the honey nut flavor. Pretty excited to see what this one tastes like because I love honey. Smells sweet. <laughs> Here we go. Honey nut magic spoon. Okay, I was trying to think of what it exactly reminds me of. It reminds me of that Honey Smack cereal, but it's just not as sweet as the Honey Smacks. This one's definitely tasty, but peanut butter takes the cake right now. Ah. <sighs> 
Well, all right, so these are the two new flavors from Magic Spoon. Uh, peanut butter was amazing. Honey Nut was great as well, but peanut butter definitely takes the cake. So again, this is a high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, wheat free, and soy free, amazing cereal. So if you guys did want to check them out, you can click the link down in the description box down below. It will apply free shipping and also, if you are not completely satisfied with your order, Magic Spoon will give you a 100% money back guaranteed on your first order. So uh, thank you, Magic Spoon. All right guys, so it is currently 2.17 p.m. And I'm gonna head over to CrossFit Bradenton. Now today is Sunday and typically on Sundays they are closed, but this weekend they were having an Olympic lifting seminar. I did go to yesterday's class where they taught us, um, well basically worked on proper technique of the snatch, the clean, and the clean and jerk. So since I went to yesterday's class, I'm just gonna go to the gym because they do have like kind of open gym because I wanna go practice my double unders. It is raining outside, so I can't practice them outside. And I've been doing 100 double unders every single day. So that way I get better. The more consistent you do them, the better you will get. So my current PR right now is 39 in a row. So hopefully today we can at least break 40. So uh, let's head to the gym. All right guys, we are back from the gym and one pro tip, don't try to practice double unders with a full stomach. It just doesn't work that well. So we ended up hitting 25 as like my best today, but I still did get in my 100 mandatory double unders for the day. So yeah, it just like, you know, when you're jumping up and down and the food just kind of sloshing around down there, it wasn't like, it wasn't the best double under session. But we did stop at the store on the way home and let me show you guys what I got. So we have some everything bagels, we have some cream cheese, and we have some salmon. So we're gonna be putting together some lox and bagels. So I have not had this yet on the channel, and the other day it just it popped up somewhere and I saw it. I was like, man, I have not had that in forever. So what we're gonna do is we are going to toast these bagels, we're gonna slap some cream cheese on there, and then slap the salmon on top. Our meal is complete, so check it out. Hopefully it don't fall. So yeah, this is the first time I am having lox and bagels on my channel. I mean, not that it's like anything crazy, super special, but I was just thinking about it. I was like, man, I've never had that on this channel before. So here we have it. We get the salmon, cream cheese on an everything bagel. Ooh, that's nice. And so the salmon is like a, a smoky flavor and the bagel is cooked just perfectly. And then the cream cheese comes in there and just mends the two together. Hmm. I think I definitely need to start eating this more often. Bagel number two. 
Oh, this is gonna be a good one because it's the top of the bagel. So we got all of the spices on there. It's like garlic, sesame seeds, pepper, and onion powder. Oh, I did forget to mention that. Large glass of orange juice. Oh, by the way, comment down below what you guys want to see me eat for 24 hours. It could be anything. Um, I know I, I've seen like a lot of videos like specific color foods, like I ate green foods for 24 hours or anything. Place your suggestions down below. I'll check them out and we'll see what we come up with. All right, and moving on to the last and final bagel. Yeah, I have to say I really did enjoy this meal. It's pretty unique, you know, it's something I, I don't have very often. I think I probably only had this like three times total in my entire life. So yeah, it was just kind of one that kind of randomly, I randomly saw the other day and I was like, man, I haven't had that in forever. And what better day to include it in a full day of eating breakfast. All right, folks, I, uh, I'm gonna go out and get some more food. I'm thinking, I, I was gonna cook, but I don't really feel like cooking, so I'm gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and get some sweets. I haven't really had much sweet in this cheat day, um, besides like, you know, the Magic Spoon cereal, that was a nice sweet treat, but uh, something's missing. So we're gonna head over to Dunkin', get a few items, and uh, finish off this cheat day right. Sit. Wait. Let's go. Hi, how you doing? Good. Okay, I'll have a blueberry muffin, a strawberry frosted donut. I guess I'll try that Beyond Sausage Sandwich and an orange juice, and that's it. Please pull forward for your total, thank you. Thank you. Dang, they didn't have two of the things that I wanted. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Have an awesome weekend. Enjoy. You too. You want a pop cup for him? What's that? Like a cup of whipped cream or a glazed uh, munchkin? Uh, her? Maybe I think the whipped cream would be alright. The whipped cream? Yeah. Okay, right back. It's always first time having whipped cream. There you uh. go. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome. You have an awesome day too, okay? <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure it's on your face first. Well, all right, guys. So, Duncan did not have the bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant, which I wanted. So I decided to go with the Beyond Sausage Egg McMuffin, just to kind of give it a try. So let's uh, see what this is all about. It's extremely hot. So it is on the English muffin. Wow, that actually does taste pretty good. Wow, that is super hot. All right, I gotta let that thing cool down for a bit. So we also did get a strawberry frosted donut because technically donuts are like a breakfast food. And 5.0 is currently closed right now because it is 7.25 p.m. So we got a strawberry frosted donut. What do you think about that? 5.0 smells better, huh? Yeah. All right. Should I just take it down on one bite? Yeah, I'm a big fan of Dunkin' Donuts' strawberry frosted donuts because the strawberry flavoring itself is just, it's perfect, it's on point. Very good strawberry flavor. So, all right, let's go back to the Beyond Egg McMuffin. So yeah, I'm surprised, it, it actually does have a really good taste to it. Oh, it's still so hot. All right, and last but not least, the whole reason why I wanted to go to Dunkin', a blueberry muffin. I love their muffins because look at all the sugar on the outside. It's like, like crystallized. All right, here we go. What do you think about that? How's that smell? Smells good, huh? We can't have this though. We're gonna eat when we get home. All right. I feel like it's just gonna. I'm gonna break it in pieces because if I take a bite out of it, it's just gonna end up everywhere. So. These are so good, warm with butter. Amazing. Well, all right guys, that was a full day of eating breakfast foods. Now, the other day I saw, you know, the lox and bagel combination and I was just like, man, I can't remember the last time I had that. And I had the idea to film a full day of eating and I was like, you know, why don't I just do a full day of eating breakfast food? So that's what we did today. And going to First Watch, First Watch seriously never disappoints. Their avocado toast is absolutely amazing as well as the million dollar bacon and then Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is seriously one of a kind. 
high protein, low carbohydrate, no gluten, no grains, no soy, no wheat, and it's seriously a magical, crunchy, keto-friendly cereal. So if you guys did want to check them out, link will be down in the description box down below. And then we did have the Lox bagels, and then we finished off the day with some Dunkin'. Um, yeah, I was kind of disappointed they did not have the bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. And then also, like, well, the main reason why I went there is to get the blueberry muffin. That's what I really wanted. I'm glad they did have that. But that Beyond sandwich was pretty good. I was surprised. The actual flavor of the Beyond meat was pretty good. So that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And before I go, let me share with you the calories and macros. So today we did consume 5,323 calories, 219 grams of fat, 622 grams of carbohydrates, and 220 grams of protein. So that's pretty much like 1,000 calories over my maintenance. You know, some days I am burning more calories, some days I am burning less. It just kind of depends on the day. You know, with doing all this CrossFit stuff, it's really ramped up my metabolic rate, and yeah, I'm just burning through calories like crazy. So that is gonna be today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.